Hi, it's Cake of Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another eyeshadow tutorial that gives off really Christmassy vibes. So if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. <laughs> For this whole tutorial, I'm using my Harry Potter palette by Storybook Cosmetics and the first shade I'm going to pick up is this maroon color and I'm going to be doing that with this blending brush that I got from the Wish app. Using windshield wiper movements and little circular motions, I'm going to be putting that into my crease. Next shade I'm picking up is this deep plum color and I'm going to be doing that with this flat blending brush from Morphe Brushes. I'm also applying this in my crease but below that first shade of red. I'm just slowly working in that color and blending it in until I get the intensity that I want. Now switching to this sparse tapered brush, I'm going to blend out those edges so that there are no harsh lines. To help me blend that in, I'm switching back to my first blending brush. Next shade I'm using is this beautiful shimmery green with this dense tapered brush. I'm going to tap that on my outer V. At this point, I realized I was supposed to cut my crease, so I'm going into my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in the number NC30 with this flat brush by Morphe Brushes. So I start off in my crease, and then once I reach the middle of my lid, then I go into a steep decline towards the outside of my eye, and then fill that whole thing in. To set my concealer, I'm picking up this bone shade with this slanted blending brush from the Wish app. First, I'm tapping on that product until I feel like it's not sticky anymore and then picking up some more product and just dusting that over once more. Then going back into that green shade with my dense tapered brush, I'm going to go into my outer V and a little bit in my crease. I'm also going to apply that very generously to my bottom lash line. Switching back to that sparse tapered brush, I'm dipping into that maroon shade and dusting that very lightly under the green. For my inner corner highlight, I'm going into my Ultimate Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills and picking up Golden Dawn with my finger. For some eyeliner and to outline my crease, I'm using NYX's Lip of the Day in the color Gem. I'm looking at my other eye as reference just to get them as even as I possibly can. I start off by drawing a straight line from the edge of my eye to the edge of my eyebrow and then slowly building that wing downwards. I am creating more of a half wing and making that line super thin towards the center and inner corner of my lid because I do have a hooded lid. It makes my eyes appear smaller so by creating a thin line more of my lid space will show and it'll make my eyes appear bigger. For the other eye, I did go in one swoop to outline my crease, but because I'm trying to match that eye, it's better to go in small segments. Switching to my sparse tapered brush, I'm just adding a little bit more of that maroon shade to my top and bottom lids. To make my inner corners pop a little more, I'm using this gold glitter by Lemonhead and I'm applying that with this flat brush. To coat my lashes, I'm using my ultimate all-in-one mascara by Revlon. For some falsies, I'm using these by Morphe Brushes and this is in the style So Charming. For the bottom lashes, I'm using these individual lashes by Ardell and these are the double ups. With some decorations For the last step, I'm coating my falsies with some mascara. In you. Let's see if you... And here is the final look. Video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and think it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Stay kicked, stay fierce, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!